Good morning, internet people. Welcome or welcome back to the Sierra YouTube channel. I'm Sierra. I'm Mister. And we got Little Man here with us. Hi. And it's a beautiful, was a beautiful day in Loch Ness. We're here for about a week, just spending some time with the family and discovering all the myths and stories that have to do with this area. Today we're in Dromna Drocket Village. I think that's how you say it. That might be how you say it. I've asked three different times and three different people have told me how to say it a different way. So I'm gonna go with Dromna Drocket because that sounds the best to me. So if I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section because I know y'all will anyways. Um, as of right, right now, we are in the village, as I said, but it is pouring rain. On the way here, it was sunny and beautiful. And now, if you guys look out, that's what it is doing outside. That is just lame sauce. But we are actually right now parked outside of the Loch Ness Discovery Center, or is it just called the Loch Ness Center? Loch Ness Center. Loch Ness Center. And inside Loch Ness Center, it's like a museum that kind of tells you the history of the area as well as tells you about the stories of the Loch Ness Monster, which Little Man is really excited about. Right, dude? Yeah. yeah, he's been reading books about the Loch Ness Monster for like the past week or so, and we have a bunch of them we brought with us at the cottage, which if you haven't seen my other video of the cottage, I don't know what order these are going to come out, but there's a video of us just hanging out in the cottage somewhere in here. I'll put it up here if you guys want to watch it, and also down in the description. But the Loch Ness Center, as I already said, is like a museum. We're going to go in and check it out, and then we have a 4 o'clock reservation at Urquhart Castle, and we're also going to eat some lunch and find out whatever trouble we can get into today. So we're going to get our umbrellas, hopefully not get too soaked, and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay. Oh, that's got a lovely little garden. Interesting. I think, oh yeah, it's a, a little film about the monster. And then over there, there's like a, a nesty hiding in a uh, dinosaur skull, which is interesting. Are you ready? And you come. Welcome. Plenty of everyone. Take a beer. Right? <laughs> what is this? Serve yourself? I don't know. Can we show you? We're underwater. Whoa, it's Nessie. Is Nessie in there? Yeah. <gasps> it's a big old boat. <laughs> Hello again. I'm here to tell you something about the method in our madness. From a naturalist point of view, the field work really began in the 60s. When Sir Peter Scott and David James set up the Loch Ness Phenomenon Investigation Bureau. This is one of their big telephoto recipes, and it made Loch Ness famous all over the world, even though she didn't want the publicity. Don't insist. Give up everything in his such a monster. He actually filmed something and genuinely believed it was an animal. Let's hear from Sir Peter and Vanessa. Sure, Joe, maybe? Oh, it could be straight up monster. It could be a seal. Does it looks maybe someone put an elephant trunk in there. I don't know. All right, boys, which one do you think it is? Ready? Okay. Vote now. Which one is it? I think it. So we just came out of the exhibit and I'm gonna ask Mr. What did you think of the exhibit? Was it cool? It was interesting, very informative. Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't really worth the money necessarily. I'd probably like $10 for 10 pounds for a person. Yeah, I mean, it ended up being 44 pounds for the three of us, which I feel is unnecessarily expensive. I mean, it was a cool exhibit and everything, but then it's, you had to take pictures in the beginning and they charged you extra for them at the end, which I get it, but like, for 40 pounds for three people, that picture that you did in the beginning takes like 10 cents for them to print, should be free. It was pretty cool though. I can't say I learned a lot just because Little Man and I did extensively research the Last Life Monster before we came on this trip, but if you haven't learned anything about it before, you haven't had time to research it, it's really cool. Um, what's also was really neat about this because we're here in the off season, all the kids are in school except for Little Man because he's home educated, so nobody was here except for one person who like, she like kind of 
fast trapped her way through so she just kind of rushed and so we literally had the entire museum to ourselves, which is really neat i'm gonna go ask the little man what he thought of the monster all right so i'm gonna ask you what did you think of the museum yeah i like it yeah so what do you think it was do you think it was a monster do you think it's a wave what do you think the monster Nessie. really is you really think you think nessie is real no no what do you think it is then i don't know what it is I mean, that's the problem. I don't think anybody knows what it is. All right. You have a theory on Nessie, right? Yep. What is Nessie? It's actually made by eel, duck, and bird. An eel, a duck, and a bird. Okay, tell me more. And the eel has teeth, mm -hmm. and they bite the duck, mm -hmm. and eat them up, and they become a eel duck. Mm -hmm. And then my eel duck can fly in the air and then bite the bird. Oh my goodness. And then the bird wants down, mm -hmm. fall, and can fly anymore. And then my eel ate it all up. And then they become a nesting and then they die down in the deep dark water. You know, it makes sense. Wow, it does all really make sense. And that's it. So now we're in the gift shop. And of course, you know, there's all the Nessie stuff you could possibly ever want here. So if you want to buy anything, this is your chance because they have you captive. All right, we're going to check out some more of the village. Hello. Hey guys. So it's been about maybe an hour or so since I last saw you. I didn't really take any footage, but we just walked around the village a little bit and did some shopping in a couple of little shops. Because it's the off season, apparently the shops a lot of closed. And also, we were going to go to a hotel for lunch. But when we got there, it ended up being closed on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Today just so happens to be Tuesday, so that's disappointing. Uh, but anyways, we came to Fiddler's Highland Cafe. I think is that what it's called? Sorry, Fiddler's Highland Restaurant. It looks like this. And although it is September, we're still able to sit outside, which is really nice. It's unusually warm right now. But we ordered some butternut soup and a salad and chips and we're gonna show it to you when it gets here but I don't know if you guys can hear it in the background if you listen there's actually a um, piper on the other side of this wall playing bagpipes and it's just really adding to the atmosphere it makes you really feel like you're in Scotland not that it doesn't feel like Scotland but like you're really in Scotland when you hear a piper so I'll see you guys when lunch gets here What's that? So here's the menu for the children, and here's the vandalism. <laughs> Oops. All right, who, vote in the comment section, who drew which one? Someone drew a chick, and someone drew a Loch Ness Monster. Is he not supposed to draw on the back? I don't know. Sure draw the back. <laughs> Whoops. I don't know. Vandalism. She gave it back to us. Committed vandalism. Oh, I know, it's just a piece of paper. Food is here and it looks fantastic. The boys are loving their soup. My salad is so pretty. Look at that presentation. Oh my goodness. And I already tasted it a little bit. And the falafel is almost as good as mine. Not as good as mine, but it's pretty close. Mm, it looks really good. How is it, dudes? Yum. Yum. Uh, that's a good sign. Hello, hello again, my friends. Um, finished lunch, went for a little bit of a walk, and then now we're at Urquhart Castle. At least I think that's how you say it. I'll find out inside. But um, we have a four o'clock reservation. It's 3.30, but maybe they'll let us in. Maybe. But before we do that, I just want to really quickly talk about parking if you're coming by car in Drumnakat Village. So parking is free in theory at most places. There's one place where you're supposed to pay, but it's like you have the opportunity to pay. No one's policing or anything. It even says in a sign that the um, anything, any, any parking fees you choose to pay goes to pay and like keep up the car park. And that is the main one that's right across from the Fiddler. Um, and then there's also parking up at the Loch Ness Center, which is where the store you guys just saw was for, I think, three hours. So I guess you can park at either one as long as you buy a ticket at the Loch Ness Center. Um, and then down at the castle, parking is also free as long as you book ahead in advance to get the parking spot. Otherwise, you 
won't be able to get in, especially during like the high season. So yeah, I just wanted to share that. And now we're gonna go inside Urquhart Castle. I honestly don't really know anything about Urquhart Castle, except that it has gorgeous, gorgeous views of the lock, which is just over there. So um, we're gonna go and check it out. If you have English Heritage membership, you can get half off. If you had your English Heritage for more than a year, you can get a free ticket. So it just depends. And it's also in the Historic Scotland Network. So if you're a member of Historic Scotland, then that's gonna be free for you as well. I'm gonna show you guys the prices really quickly, just so you guys can know how much it does cost, because I know I'm going to forget, but they're right there. And I'll put them down in the description as well with the website. As you guys will see um, when we get outside, this is what the castle looks like in its prime, although now there's really not much left of it. You know, I thought Urquhart's final battle was, what, like oh. a couple hundred years ago? But apparently that battle is still going on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's down now. The castle was so much prettier before they broke it. I'm crazy. Mm -hmm. And there's the trebuchet. Ready? Hey! Four! You found another thing. A wolf? What? How many wolves is that now? Two. Two? Yeah, they have really good kids' activities at all the sites. At this one, they have to count wolves, and so far we have counted two. The other one is up there at the entrance. Yeah, good job. Stay here, okay. This is a you guys are having a secret down there. Yeah. What's the secret? There's a garden down there. Let's see. A football. Yeah. Hi. Hey, handsome. What do you mean it's too squishy? Like there's mud? There, um, a water and dirt. Water and dirt, yes, that makes mud. Oh, I found the sun. He needs to get down. What you doing? Flying. I <laughs> can see that. Come over here. I want to show you something. Come here. I'm going to show you our house. Come on. Look at that, guys. Amazing. And you know what's even like extra, extra awesome? And we can see our house from here. Which, do you guys see that white dot right there? I think that's hard to see on camera. But yeah, it's right there. That little white dot is our house. Look at Mummy's little history buff. All right, now we're in the Grant Tower. This is a proper house. What? Oh, I see. Oh my gosh. Honestly, this is like the opposite of the view that we have. Right? Because that's our road back there. This is nice. Yeah, I think this is closer than our house is now. Yeah. You go. No, thank you. You go in there. Oh my gosh, this one's Y'all are trying to kill me, aren't you? That's right, lock him down there. He's a bad guy anyway. You guys stay down there. <laughs> the private chamber of the house, basically like where the family lived. With this really disappointing view, oh dear. However did they survive? You see a wolf up there? Right there! Oh, it is right up there, you're right. Wow. That's five. That is five. 
He loves that game. He fun. loves, yeah, he loves oh, finding all the little animals and stuff. Observant. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder where my boys are. <laughs> oh boy. It's a monster. No. It's a rabid rabbit. No. It's a wolf. Yes. Are you gonna come eat me? <laughs> Please don't eat me, wolf. I'm very scared. <laughs> 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 <laughs>